Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Cause I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I don't know the rest of that, honestly. Hey friends, hey family, cool mistakes, bienvenidos. It's your girl back with another video. And I know this is not a typical day that you get a video from me, but y'all, something hit the front door. Yes, shut the front door, literally. It came to my front door today. Did not expect it. O.M. Bejeezies. What is it? Tati Beauty. Can y'all tell from the back? Yes, yes. This came and I almost screamed, threw up, um, I ran through the house. And um, yeah, I didn't want anybody calling the popo on me. But I was so excited to get this. I want to share with you guys my thoughts. I did put this on the eyes today. Mi ojos. Ooh. And it looks so beautiful, right? But I want to share with you guys a couple of things. I am going to leave a timestamp in here. So definitely look down in the description box because we got, we got a lot to talk about. Okay, let's jump into the video. So first of all, I want to thank Tati and her team. Thank you so much, Tati James, who ever else is a part of this launch thank you so much for sending this over to me i know you all did not expect me to do a review i know tati did not expect me to review her halo beauty hair skin and nails but i did i will leave that down below because i did do some check-ins i did an intro a check-in and then the final result of what i felt like in 30 days what those hair skin and nails did for me it was quite surprising so definitely check out that video but we are talking about tati beauty I love that Tati Beauty is separate from Halo Beauty. It's two subsidiary companies under the umbrella of Tati Westbrook. I love it. She's a boss. Yes, not boss, but boss. B-A-W-S-E. Yes, that is a word in my vocabulary. Like, I had to tell y'all about this right away because when Tati announced this, first of all, let's talk about when Tati announced this. Okay, when she first talked about Halo Beauty, I was everybody was that's when everybody wanted the eyeshadow palette. But girl, Tati, yes, you know how to keep us in suspense. I know that I, whoever's on your team that has us like I feel like you have us on a thriller. Okay, Tati came with this palette, and when I say that this palette did not disappoint at all i am so excited to share with you guys my thoughts about this so i am going to show you a swatch party of these towards the end of this video and comment and let me know if you guys want to see more looks you're probably going to see looks anyway because i'm going to be playing with it and reviewing um, natural hair products which is really big on my channel here and also courageous conversations you guys will see these looks okay so you'll see this in a gritty with me trying some new makeup very very soon probably we'll film that tomorrow but um, let's talk about the palette, okay? So first of all, I love the size. As you can tell, I can hold it in my hand and that I really love. The only thing I would say is that this is going to like get your fingerprints and stuff on it. But y'all, if you're going to use it, that's the whole point. I feel like it's a good weighty palette. It, it is compact like it's definitely travel friendly i wouldn't want anything larger than this because then it gets out of control and it's hard to pack when it comes to packing your travel items i love this palette for a couple of reasons okay so the first let me give you a backstory about me i used to work for mac i actually had to quit because i found out i was pregnant i went on bed rest and i'm a freelance makeup artist so my gig on the side i'm not a full a full-time makeup artist but I do it on the side for weddings proms special events those type of things and if it fits into my schedule and I can do it I definitely will put that in so I do have my own kit that I have built um, that I take with me and I have a roller bag and everything but when I say this has condensed so many things like I want to get one of these for my kit by the way I was going to get I was ready for the launch it launches October 25th at 10 a.m. on Tati Beauty. You can definitely sign in and it will send you a notification when the launch has happened. Tati has not told me to do any of this, y'all. Okay, I'm just doing this on my own free will accord. Thank you so much for sending this over. 
but I'm, I'm still going to keep it 100 and tell you guys what I think about the palette. Okay? The palette's bomb. I, this palette, I was telling CJ, my girl CJ, because, you know, it. this is what, it striked a, a couple of different emotions on the inside. Okay? The first emotion that it evoked with inside my spirit. Really? You won't block my blessings, trash. Man. Sanitation man. Let me just be a little bit more clear about that. Okay, so the first thing that it invoked in my mind, okay, was that when I open this up, and I know I'm holding it and I'm just making anticipate. Uh, <laughs> when I open this package, and put it on my eyes I was like I can cut down so many of the things that I bring with me that's in my collection that's the first thought it gave me the second thought it gave me was that I am now no nonsense with a good mirror in a palette okay I have decluttered so many palettes because it has no mirror and a mirror some people are like a, a mirror is a deal breaker for me but a really good mirror, there's only a few brands that bring a really, really good mirror. And when I say a good mirror, I mean, put, put it, you can see your whole entire face. Tarte makes good palettes because of the mirror, okay? Not because of the mirror. It has to be a full package, but you know what I'm saying. The mirror is bomb in Tarte palettes. Becca makes good mirrors in their packaging. Tati... You get an A plus on the mirror, girl. This mirror takes up the whole entire side. Thank you for not putting the logo. Thank you for not putting the names of the eyeshadows and saying that that's a feeler for the top of this palette. Oh my goodness. I love that I can see my whole entire face in this palette. I love it so much. I should have put some more bronzer on. I know that. See, that's the thing that you can see in a good mirror is that you need some more bronzer. Let me put some bronzer on, y'all. I feel like that Tati took all of the things that she thought a glam mom would want. Hence, glam mom right here. And she put it in a palette. Okay, so let's show the palette so i'm not gonna try to blind you but let's share the palette with you i love that she has a glitter a metallic a sequin and a matte formula okay so diff four different formulas and textures and then she also has the names at the bottom this is so genius you guys because okay so i use this color right here so all i have to say is oh what color did you use oh i use glitter poet what that was so genius and then she didn't have to have all the names under here which takes up sometimes space which a lot of people say oh the names take up a lot of space you get the pan size by the way let me tell you how much you get so you get 0 0.04 ounces of product in the glitter you get 0 0.03 you get 0 0.04 ounces of product in the matte the sequin and the metallic so you get the glitter weighs like a smidgen less than the metallic sequin and matte so that's good you get one gram of product per pan and you get 0.75 grams of product in the glitter this is cruelty free and vegan i do want to let you guys know that and it is by tati beauty llc but anyway i wanted to give you that guys that i wanted to make sure that you knew that it's cruelty free and vegan so nobody's getting hurt in the process and you guys you guys i love like i said glitter poet so the different textures are glitter metallic sequin and matte and then the different names are memory ritual story soothe aura and poet so all of these are poet all of these are aura, soothe, story, ritual, and then memory. So I really, really like that. But I also like that she has it where you can go to the texture that you want, but it also has a name. Genius. It feels like a multiplication table where you can just go over. Um, I do have the, the glitter. I'm sorry. I have the glitter poet on and I also have the metallic aura okay in the inner corner on my eyes i did use this in conjunction with another palette i am panning a palette 
let me show you guys i'm panning this palette the anastasia beverly hills this is the world traveler palette and i used in here this beautiful shade intense gaze right here okay that is on my lid and then i also have on heirloom in the on the outer corner you guys, when I say I had my liner, my lashes, I was planning on doing another video, two other videos today. And because I pre-record, I plan on doing those today. And y'all, when this came, I was like, I want to take everything off and do this review. Okay. But I didn't have time. My kids are coming home soon. I only have an hour lunch break and I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I went in and I was like, oh, oh, let me, let me just take this. Let me just take this look up a notch. Glitter Poet took it up a notch. I love that you can do a cool tone look from this palette and I did Aura. I love this. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys swatches, so don't worry. But I love that you have, um, you can do a smoky, a black smoky eye you can do a brown smoky eye you can do a pumpkin spice latte okay so you have some warm tones you have cool tones in here I love that she has two different types of browns she has a cream so a lot of brands do this color is very very popular and sometimes they don't put this on this is a really good shadow the aura matte or the matte aura you can say either way I love this shade because a lot of times this color is it needs to be utilized for like muting out and starting with a white base or a light base so you can get the best color payoff the other thing is this is a really beautiful brow bone shade and I really like what she did with this palette now I thought that the glitter y'all I love the glitter I did get like some specs but then again I didn't have like an adhesive type of base to put this on which I do recommend although I did um, it did really really well with what I had which I already had a whole look I have lashes on I had the eyeliner on you guys and I was still able to perform this so if you wanted to go from day to night and just at the end pop on the glitter you definitely could do that that's the reason why I wanted to do this video and show you guys that I was able to amp up a look that I had already done and just add and use this as an added palette now this works as your only your one and only but it also you can use this in conjunction to other palettes when I say that the smoothness of the texture and the butteriness of the shadows are so good I'm gonna show you guys my favorite row is this row right here you're getting 24 shades but the sequin row is my favorite when I swatched this row you guys I got Tom Ford feels in my head I can totally see that when Tati made this palette it was totally an inspiration of all of the other um from her inspirations Tati was a makeup artist so I love the fact that she took this you can utilize in a kit but you can also utilize this as just a, a personal consumer and so I love the finishes I love this I, I'm you just gonna hear I love in this video um, I don't have like a negative thing to say about it I'm really excited about the launch I was gonna get the palette anyway it was just a plus I will say that this palette also gave me the feels of decluttering other palettes I am no nonsense anymore with not having a mirror in my collection she put the Stila in a palette you guys she put a matte because some people just like all mattes and I like that you can just tap in you know where it's placed the color story and the placement of these shadows are really really well told and I, I really wouldn't expect less from Tati because she is she's a review channel and very very meticulous in her reviews and I really really love her reviews whenever I want to know about a product she's one of the first channels that I go to in terms of reviewing and especially when it comes to base products and everything I do like her selection and her choice of eyeshadows and what her favorite were so I was really glad to see 
this palette come out and it did not disappoint in the least i cannot wait cannot wait until she comes out with a foundation and a concealer she did mention in one of her videos that she has like 30 30 like launches i think she said or at least like collections or something check out the video I think it's the one with her and Erica and she's doing a PR unboxing, but she's talking about how many things she's already had ahead and that's why it's took her, taken her so long. This was worth the wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Let's get into the swatches. And take this and you just wanted to put it on top like I'm pressing I don't really have that much glitter left but look let's put something on top of this one I'm just pressing it onto the skin oh that's so pretty look at that Look at that, you guys. Oh, that is so gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches, the review. I hope you got enough information to make a decision as to if you would like this palette. I feel like that this is ideal for a makeup kit. This is ideal for a personal consumer. I think that if you need a one-stop shop when it comes to glam, or if you're trying to do every day, if you wanna go from a night look, you have a special occasion, this does it all, honestly. And um, I really enjoyed this palette. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.